All right, welcome back to, to Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. And you may be wondering, why am I coming back to this game? Well, believe it or not, after the game was launched, despite the negative reception, there was, of course, downloadable content released. And I'm going to be showing you one of them today. I will be showing you the episode, the episode known as Team Attack Amigo, which allow you to play as three of the characters in in seven stages. All three of the Amiga characters that can be played are, of course, Tails, oh, uh, Root, um, Tails, Blaze, and Omega. Yep, that's right. As you can probably tell, this is going to be the last playthrough of this uh, year. Because, of course, I'm actually going to be uh, finishing off shop after this one for this year. Basically, there will be the Crash Bandicoot uh, replay, let's play, will be done in the new year. For I don't have time to actually get this all done because the Christmas holiday was so consuming. I thought it'd be best to actually just, um, you know, let the Crash Bandicoot let's play slide into next year so we can actually get the road to, of course, the remastered trilogy, also known as the Insane trilogy. And boy, am I looking forward to that because Crash Bandicoot has been a massive part of my childhood. That Sonic, Mario, and many other franchises, including Ratchet and Clank. Okay, so a lot of you may be wondering, how did 2016 fare in terms of my preference? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, tw in terms of my life, 2016 has been seen as a possibly a much better year for me overall. Because you remember last year was considered a tra transitional year for me, because unfortunately, because of my mom moving away, I was finding it quite difficult. And it was really in. Uh, I was really finding it difficult last year to find work and, of course, place my own. That was until the council in my hometown decided to intervene and get me to a scheme that would allow me to live with some, with a family, another family. Well, not necessarily my own, though. But yeah. But 2016 was a much better year for me because after I've lost my job in Toys R Us after this after early this year. I, my, my, it took me like half the time compared to last year to find the job and I actually still am there today. So of course 2016 was a much better year, plus the fact is that there were more of it because of course last year didn't see me in, in any conventions last year. I was pretty much, you know, a lot more. It was much better. Yeah, I had four convention appearances this year. Bam, my local geek con in, uh, of course, my hometown. Then there was the Summer of Sonic in London, which was amazing. Possibly one of the best cons I went to. Well, even though it was a crowdfunded one, and one of the most crowdfunded projects I could be proud of backing. Then I went to EGX in Birmingham in September. And, of course, two months ago, I was at London Comic Con, or MCM, as it's well known as. But only just for one day, and I'm really am quite, uh, you know. I do actually apologise for some of the guys that I missed on the day, but unfortunately, because of work restrictions, I only had to make one day. So, yeah, couldn't get the time off. But then again, uh, then again, as always, May, I suppose. And in other terms of stuff, video games this year was absolutely amazing. We were treated to such a lot of great treats, such as um, we have. I've seen, in terms of Nintendo, not as much, but in terms of the PlayStation 4, there was a lot of great exclusives. And as you look at my um, cupboards, I found this year we were treated to a reimagining of the Ratchet and Clank, the reboot of the Ratchet and Clank franchise, with the, ori with the original game being reimagined. There we have Rise of the Tomb Raider, which was re released for the PS4 with all the DLC in it. Then we have, of course. And we have a lot of, and so many great, Uncharted 4, yep, I've yet to play that game because I have to, of course, get all the games done. There are a few LEGO games, one of them based off the Force Awakens that I have to yet to play that because I've got that for the PS4. And of course, we actually are treated to what's considered to be the, my favourite FPSs for a very long time, Doom, this year's reboot of Doom, and of course, and of course, Overwatch. I'm going to be honest with you, I actually thought Overwatch is miles better than that of the new Call of Duty, without a doubt. 
Maybe, and if you may disagree with me, but that's just tough because it's my opinion at the end of the day and that deserves to be respected. Uh, but 2560 wasn't all sunshine and roses this year because we had quite a lot of sad celeb deaths of so many well-known people. There was... There was... Of course, of course, from no particular order, we have David Bowie who was of... Oh, God damn it. Was dead. I had passed, sadly passed away in about a couple of days after the release of his new album, Black Star, which ultimately proved to be his last album in his lifetime. Then we had Glenn Frey of The Eagles. Then we had um, Alan Rickman, who is well known for being, for having so many villain roles, especially Snape in the Harry Potter series. And of course, uh, Hans Gruber in Die Hard. That was one of his more notable performances as well. Then we have Maurice White of Earth, Wind & Fire. Paul Kantner, formerly known as Jefferson Airplane. Joe Lasky, the voice actor for many of the Looney Tunes in recent years. George Martin, the producer for The Beatles and many other artists. Keith Emerson of the trio. Emerson Lake and Palmer sadly passed away. Then we had another notable death, Prince. My God, did... And um, after that, he had a lot of great songs, but some of them were really controversial. But I do think Prince was one of the greatest singers of all time, and he was really talented. He was very fantastic, though. He was a great, he was a great talent who we'll sadly miss. Then we have Francis. And in recent days, we've lost Francis Parfit from of um of um, status quo. Then we had George Michael, who sadly who passed on as well and a couple of days ago we've sadly lost Princess Leia actress Carrie Fisher and that was really saddening and sadly her mother also passed away a couple of days afterwards as well which was pretty saddening and I do send my condolences to Carrie Fisher and her mother's family uh, but then again I send my condolences to all the families of those who sadly passed away this year. And, and it's not just celebrities that sadly passed on. I've also had a couple of uh, personal deaths as well. I had one. I had a pers personal tragedy because of my friend, sadly. Sadly. A uh, friend of mine, unfortunately. And of course. And of course, I also lost my grandmother from my dad's side of the family as well, which was possibly makes 2016 a really bad year for devs. My god, does death really have no mercy? And yet we have assholes like Donald Trump still lurking about, and even terrorist May. <sighs> and in terms of politics, it wasn't even much better for, for, for everyone and I, because 2016 politically is possibly one of the worst years ever. We might have gotten rid of David Cameron, considering that his premiership was so bad. But we have to end up, we end up with, a, of course, a vote that is considered not only flawed, but very illogical as well. The EU referendum. Despite Labour's recent comeback success, thanks to Jer Jeremy Corbyn, everything else, um, the EU vote was nothing more than a tool just to un not only undermine him, but to also realise that Britain, without, with the talk, Britain out of the EU, with the toys in control is never will only will only be a disaster but then again that's just me though I was never a person who was I was never a fan of the Brexit vote I thought the Brexit vote was just it was yet another rigged vote then again Tories are Tories they'll always cheat their way into power but anyway back with the DLC of the game Team Attack Amigo actually pits you with free you know free of the amigos, possibly the best amigos of the game. Those include those are being the likes of Tails, Blaze, and Omega. And I noticed that in this DLC, Tails moves a little faster in this one compared with his uh, ground speed in the uh, main part bulk of the game, which kind of is pretty interesting. I don't know why they had made him faster in this one, but made him a lot slower than he was in that he was in the main part bulk of the game. 
So basically you have three stages with Tails. Those include those you already saw were Crisis City, Radical Train and Kingdom Valley as Tails. Now we are on to Tropical Jungle with Blaze and she also is in Aquatic Rune as well. Even though she's not in she wasn't a she was a playable Aquatic Rune or Tropical Jungle. Now I'm gonna out of all the characters to play as Poss I actually thought Blaze and Omega were the best one of my favourite amigos in the game. Because Blaze actually runs as fast and is nimble as Sonic. And Omega's Omega is as powerful as he was in Sonic Heroes. Even though they can even though they even though the physics of this game is absolutely whack is absolutely out of whack because of how bad the game was rushed. But then again. But then again, considering that they had to make deadlines, it was just... Uh, I just... It, but at least we have two so But looking forward to 2017, there's going to be a lot of great games for the near future. Yep, that's right. There's going to be two new Sonic games. Sonic Boom right... No, 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 no. Sonic Boom. No Sonic Boom games for the next year, I'm hoping. Sonic... There's going to be Sonic Mania, which is going to be a new 2D Sonic game. And it's, oh, it's going to be awesome. And not only that, but we've also got a new 3D Sonic game called Project Sonic, Project Sonic 2017, which is... I'm hoping they'll have new details for the game as soon as possible. And, it, and, and there's going to be a lot of great other games like uh, Last of Us 2. I've yet to play the, uh, the original Last of Us. We've got a lot of Sony type exclusive titles also coming out next year. Hopefully they will be that fantastic. Because I think my I think the PS4 is definitely out of all the eighth generation consoles, possibly the best console, and in my eyes, the Wii U comes second best. Sadly, though, but I do like my Wii U. Although I do like my Wii U, which it, and it's one of my favourite consoles, I do admit that the marketing campaign was a massive fail, and it was and it was thanks to, of course, lack of promotion, which really bogged the console sales down to a crawl. But I'm um, hoping there'll be a lot of surprises in 2017, and uh, hopefully 2017 will be a pretty incredible year for gaming. In terms of films, I believe there's going to be a new um, there's going to be a new uh, there, there's the new Star Wars film that's coming out, which is going to be Carrie Fisher's last official uh, role as Leia. And of course, we're going to see Guardians. There's uh, probably going to be Guardians of the Galaxy 2 are going to be there as well. And, but speaking of which, I'm hoping to see Rogue One as soon as possible. Okay, back with the game, and look what happens! Ah, oh, that is absolute... How did I... Uh, yeah, uh, indeed. How am I supposed to land properly without that? Well, good thing I actually decided to land. Set, decided to actually, you know, stop in the tracks and go around so I could actually lands much better. <sighs> but of course aquatic base is possibly one of the longest uh, parts of the uh, of the uh, of team attack mode. Oh god this Christmas be that had to come out of nowhere didn't it? Not much warning. <sighs> So in terms of 2017, other other things that 2017 I'm also looking forward to is of course the new uh, is of course hopefully a uh, appearance at Spain's MCM as well, and of course there's a geek con, there's a co comic convention that's happening in my hometown as well. I'm actually going to look forward to that, even though it's going to be in a small venue. But like, considering that this year's geek con, local geek con was very successful. I'm pretty sure that it will be as successful as lot this year for the next year, so without a doubt, though. And in terms of Let's Play, so I'm actually going to be doing my first ever live captured Let's Play. Not live streaming, no. I'm actually going to be doing a live Let's Play via PS4 Capture. And there are many possible Let's Play candidates. I'm probably going to be doing one on the uh, 2030 Tomb Raider reboot. Yeah, I I actually recently started playing that and it's already awesome. 
And hopefully you could also uh, look forward to some, uh, you know, online highlights of um, Overwatch. Oh, and possibly even some uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 as well. On Well, Grand Theft Auto 5's online mode anyway. And also, you... And there's going to be a lot of things I'm going to be doing in 2016 in terms of videos. Hopefully. And guess what? Then I'm going to be giving you some updates and some, you know, teasers. First of all, after my Overwatch review of VGXL will no longer be active, I will be, of course, rebranding my reviews. And, of course, I'll be able to uh, re rebrand the format so no long so I will no longer have the VGXL name and instead there will be of course a new format of reviewing like what I said it'll be a fresh new look and of course I'll be making uh, not only video game reviews I'm also going to be making film reviews as well uh, yes I'm going back I'm actually re I'm actually re-registering my interest in doing film reviews what on earth is that what am I? I don't even know what that was. I think that was a glitch. Ugh, son of a glitch. <laughs> but, but regardless, though, I'm still looking forward to actually making a new, my new reviews under this new format, and there'll be a new review coming in the new year. I'm probably going to decide what it was, but you know the whole thing is going to be worth it. And of course, I'm also going to be doing a new style. I'm actually going to be doing a new, you know, style of um, of let's playing as well, which is going to be. I'm not. I'm actually going to be still let's playing in my uh, current style, though. Yes, I'm still going to be doing post commentaries, but I'm post review, post post recording commentaries, or post game record commentaries, but. But I'll be doing live uh, captured Let's Plays as well, which will be, like what I said, via PS3 as well. So, yeah. Another, and in other words, I'm also looking forward to making... And of course, the ending screens will be a lot different because YouTube have a new update which will allow you to make your own uh, end screens as well, which is probably going to be part of my, you know rebranding of my uh, channel and alongside that I'll probably even do a I'm actually also going to be doing an intro a brand new intro for my um, let's indoors and I'm also going to hopefully and I'm also going to be doing one final let's indoor for this year one my, one last let's indoor of 2016 and it's going to be on what on an on overwatch well there's two videos of Overwatch that I'll be uh, enduring, seeing how salty Darkseid Bill is. And if things go well, I might be able to make a return to commentaries as well. I'm not going to do uh, it on overdone to death, you know, dead horses. I'm probably going to do ones on fresh meat, because I know there are some fresh meat out there. And you know what? Stop the commentary community rules. They they do they serve no purpose but to provide barriers. If anybody wants to do any uh, interview commentaries the way they want to, let them. It's called freedom of. They are people are free to do whatever they want as long as they can provide entertainment for people. And I don't know why people get so so people get so worked up in that wretched community at, at the beginning. Or rather. Just, you know, destroy that bandwagon using a nuclear missile. So, yeah, that could be some of my things that I'll be doing during 2017. And hopefully that will be all be started during the new year. And this is where the part ends. And, of course, I'm going to end this part once I hit the goal ring of this stage. Which will leave Blaze to actually hand the baton over to Omega. As if I get that cage open, that is. Alright, we're done with this stage. So, of course, now it leaves me to say that that the first half is done. Next time, I'm going to finish Team Attack Amigo with E123 Omega. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the second half of the Team Attack Amigo Sonic Head 2006 Let's Play.